So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Our lesson is about illustrating quadratic equation. So what is a quadratic equation? It is an equation in a standard form, ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, where a, b, and c are real numbers and a should not be equal to 0. If the value of a equals 0, that is not a quadratic equation. So ax squared, that is the quadratic term, while the bx, that is the linear term, and then the c, that could be the constant term. So let us identify now the quadratic term, the linear term, and the constant term in the given quadratic equation 7x squared minus 2x minus 15 equal 0. So the quadratic term that is ax squared, so let us find. So the quadratic term that is equal to 7x squared. How about the linear term? The linear term, the exponent is 1. So that is negative 2x. And then the constant term, it is only number, no variable. So the constant term, that is equal to negative 15. How about the given equation 5x squared plus x plus 3 equals 0? So let us find which is the quadratic term. So the quadratic term, the highest exponent is 2. So that is 5x squared. The linear term, the highest exponent is 1, so that is 1x or x only. And then the constant term, that is the number, so that is equal to positive 3. If the given standard form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, let us find the value of a, b, and then c. In the given quadratic equation, 3x squared plus 2x is equal to 9. First, we need to arrange this equation in a standard form. So, all going to the left side. So, copy 3x squared, copy 2x while positive 9 going to left, we need to change the sign. So, positive 9, that becomes negative 9 equal 0. So, this quadratic equation is written in a standard form. So, right now, we will easily identify the value of A, the value of B, and then the value of C. So, the quadratic term, that could be the value of A. The linear term, that could be the value of B. And then the constant, that is only a number. So the value of a, that is equal to 3, because the quadratic term is 3x squared, and then the value, it is equal to 3. The linear term is 2x, so the value of the linear term, it is equal to 2. And then the constant, that is negative 9. So the value of a, b, and c, a is equal to 3, b is equal to 2, and then c, it is equal to negative 9. How about in example number 2? 4x squared is equal to 15x. So copy 4x squared. While 15x going to the left side, we need to change the sign. If this is positive going to left, that becomes negative. If this is negative going to left, change the sign, that becomes positive. So this one, positive 15x, change the sign. That becomes negative 15x equal 0. So right now, let us identify the value of a b, and then c. So this is the quadratic term. So the numerical coefficient of the quadratic term, that is equal to 4. So it means a, it is equal to 4. The linear term, that is negative 15x. So it means the numerical coefficient of the leading term, that is negative 15. And then the constant, none. So it means c, it is equal to 
0. So, the final answer A is equal to 4, B it is equal to negative 15, and then C it is equal to 0. How about number 3? The quantity x minus 6 times the quantity 2x plus 3 equals 1. So let us arrange this equation in the standard form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So let us multiply using the FOIL method. So x times 2x, that becomes 2x squared because 1 times 2 is 2. x times x, that is x squared. So first, next is outer. The outer is x and then 3. So, x times 3, that is equal to positive 3x. Afterwards, inner. So, the inner is negative 6 and then 2x. Negative 6 times 2 is negative 12 and then copy x. And then the last, negative 6 times positive 3. Negative times positive is negative. 6 times 3, the answer is equal to 18. And then copy equals 1. So let us arrange from highest exponent to the lowest exponent and all the value going to the left side. So first, let us write 2x squared, 3x, negative 12x, and negative 18. Positive 1 going to the left side, change the sign, that becomes negative 1 equals 0. So let us combine like terms. So 2x squared, kung walang kaparehas, copy 2x squared. 3x and then negative 12x, we need to combine. So, same variable. So, 3 minus 12, subtract, copy the big sign. So, that becomes negative 9, copy the variable x. And then negative 18 minus 1, add and copy the sign of the larger number. 18 plus 1 is 19 and then copy the sign. So, the answer is equal to negative 19 equal zero. So right now, this is written in a standard form 2x squared minus 9x minus 19 equals zero. We easily identify now the value of a, b, and c. So the value of a, if this is the quadratic term, the numerical coefficient is equal to 2. So a equals 2. The linear term that is negative 9x. So it means the value of b that is equal to negative 9. And then the constant that is equal to negative 19. So the value of A, it is equal to 2. B, it is equal to negative 9. And then C, that is equal to negative 19. How about example number 4? The given factored form is written in a square of binomial. So let us distribute. First, we need to square x. So x times x is x squared. And then afterwards, we need to multiply 2 by the value of a and b. So it means 2 times x is 2x times 6. The answer is equal to positive 12x. Afterwards, we need to square 6. So 6 times 6, the answer is equal to 36. And then copy equals 2x. So let us combine like terms and then it must be arranged from highest exponent to the lowest exponent. So first, we need to write x squared and 12x. Afterwards, positive 2x is the next. Going to the left side, change the sign of positive 2. So that becomes negative 2x and then bring down 36 equals 0. So, let us combine like terms. So, kung x squared, kung may kaparehas, wala, copy x squared. And then, let us combine 12x minus 2. So, subtract, copy the variable. 12 minus 2, it is equal to 10. And then, copy the variable. Positive 36 equal 0. So, this equation, it is written in standard form. So, let us find now the value of a, b, and c to the given equation. So the quadratic term that is x squared. So the numerical coefficient of x squared that is equal to 1. The linear term it is equal to 10x. So the value of b it is equal to 10. And then the constant that is equal to 36. So the final answer a is equal to 1, b is equal to 10, and then c it is equal to 36.
How about number 5? Five? 5x squared minus 15, it is equal to 3 to the quantity x squared plus 7x. So first, we need to copy the left side, 5x squared minus 15 equals. Afterwards, let us distribute the parentheses. 3 times x squared, that is equal to 3x squared. And then 3 times 7x, that is 3 times 7 is positive 21 copy x. So let us combine like terms and then all the value going to the left side. First, we need to write 5x squared. Afterwards, 3x squared going to the left side, change the sign. So this is positive, that becomes negative 3x squared. Afterwards, after the quadratic term, so let us see, that is the linear term. So the linear term, that is 21x, positive 21. Going to the left side, that is negative 21x. After the linear term, the constant, so copy the constant, negative 15 equal 0. So let us combine like terms. So we need to combine x squared. So 5 minus 3, that is equal to 2, copy x squared. And then the rest, copy negative 21x, copy negative 15 equal 0. So this time, this is written in, in a standard form, 2x squared minus 21x minus 15 equals 0. So we can easily identify now the value of a, b, and c. The quadratic term that is equal to 2x squared. So it means the value of a that is equal to positive 2. The linear term that is negative 21x, so it means the value of b that is equal to negative 21. And then the constant that is equal to negative 15. So the value of a that is equal to 2, b negative 21, and then c, the answer is equal to negative 15. Instruction, given the quadratic equation, let us identify the value of A, B, and C. Provide your answers in the comment section. Enjoy learning!